Welcome to the Rick and Rod Show. I'm Rick. Uh, Rod actually isn't here today. He was feeling it under the weather, so I'm going to miss him on this one, but the show must go on. So I've already reacted to this song twice now. The first time, my memory card gave uh, me an error, no pun intended. And the second time, I didn't turn on the audio, unfortunately. I decided not to do a third video because my direction on this reaction has changed a bit. So I'm doing a voiceover instead, and I uh, apologize if my voice is bad. And I'm still learning how to talk. Um, so first, let me say I love this song. I really did a lot, actually. And I love this band a lot, actually. Um, I paused the video a couple times so I could capture the intensity on Pow and Danny's faces. And Ollie's bass line was amazing. It was really good. Um, I could watch Pow play drums all day. And Danny puts her vocal, vocals all out there, holding nothing back. Um, she's fun to watch, too. Uh, and actually, I like to Ollie. Um, this band is so talented, and I want to see them in concert so bad. So I'm hoping they actually make it back to the States soon. And I hope I don't lose anybody uh, with this video. The Warning Army is so protective of these ladies, and I appreciate that you all have such a love for good, solid rock music. And I would love to shake hands with some of y'all someday, as well as meet the Warning, who are so respectful of their fans. And I hope that never changes. This reaction is not going to be 100% positive. And I'm going to pose a question after the video is over. Don't worry about what I'm saying on the uh, camera. Um, I had a lot to say, but um, none of it's important right now. It was all positive. Everything I said was positive. And uh, I think this song would make a great road trip music. I was just telling a friend that. And uh, I hope you all will watch this entire video because I don't want anyone to take what I say out of context. So let's enjoy Evolve together and I'll check back with you afterwards.
All right, I love that video. That was awesome. Uh, I loved every part of it. I love the uh, the video itself. Um, was awesome. The uh, I love watching Pow playing drums. Like I said, um, sometimes <laughs> sometimes when she rolls her eyes back, um, she seems like she's entering, entering like some kind of spiritual world where she's just like in the in the zone. And I feel like she's on a mission almost every time she plays. Probably every time she plays, actually. Um, Danny's vocals were awesome. Uh, the bass playing was awesome. Everything about this video and, and the uh, talent behind it was incredible. And uh, just the talent in general is awesome. So I hid something from y'all, and I'm about to expose it uh, right now. But uh, I'm going to show you what I did, um, and I'm going to ask you this question. So my question is... How far into the video did you get before you realized I uh, muted the audio of the video you just watched and played the audio from their live session? So that's my question. Uh, and that's what I played instead. So I'm going to switch it now just to show you. And, uh, and then you can see what I did. people in the comments said that their live or their live sessions sounded better than their video so I mean just listen to the difference in the audio I think the audio was actually better um, in the uh, live session and uh, you can see how it's how it's changed when I've switched it so anyway so when I see the words live session that's what i think that i'm watching and i can enjoy it as that however i felt this was too good to be a live session so instantly i thought this band was amazing they sound as good live as they do in their music videos there are some bands who are disappointing live i've seen a lot of them and uh but then i watched the live session video a couple more times looking for any giveaways the drums were spot on, the bass was spot on, Danny's vocals were spot on, the scream was spot on, and in the end there was only one giveaway, and it was Danny, and here I'll show you what that was. So Danny's hand changes direction on the neck of the, her guitar, even though the guitar riff continues to move up, she even has a look on her face that looks like she's playing around. Sorry, tangent, I just had to hear Pow scream again. That being said, as a musician, I know there's a separation between the talent and promoters, and now we have social media marketers. If there's one thing that I feel like I've learned from the warning is that social media can be perilous, and while something like this would usually cause me to doubt the credibility of a band and be off-putting, I don't think it's the band's fault. And I'm getting protective. My sister now listens to the warning because I've told her about it, about them. Several of my friends now listen to the warning because I've told them about them. They are on all my streaming uh, apps now. I listen to Evolve around the house. I want to listen to more, but I can't until we react. It's frustrating. If the band wasn't so truly talented, I may have walked away from the live sessions video feeling duped. I want the band's followers to increase I want them to go places they've never imagined, and I have full faith that they will. But I also want there to be no reason for anyone to doubt their integrity or their credibility. Reading the comments, I see people saying, wow, they are better live than they than on the music video. And maybe in the sense of uh, looking more casual and the audio quality in the video, that may be true. But I just hope someone starts labeling their live sessions correctly in the future. I want everyone to love this band as much as I do, and I, I mean everyone. So this is what I really think of this band. I think they're the Metallica of tomorrow. Uh, young girls are going to aspire to be like them, uh, and they're going to do covers of their songs. I do think that they sound just as good in uh, live, because I've been watching their concerts as they do 
on their videos. Uh, so I have no, I have the utmost of faith in them as far as live versus uh, recorded. Um, so please don't be mad at me. I wasn't trying to be a buzzkill. But speaking of young girls that are inspired by the warning, this is actually buzzkill. So I hope these girls keep practicing. Uh, that drummer looks pretty good. I mean, she's got uh, some potential. Uh, I think what I'm missing here in this video is the harmonizing that the uh, the warning does. Um, even in uh, Enter Sandman, their harmonies sounded amazing. Uh, so I hope these uh, these girls keep at it and uh, keep uh, keep getting better. And uh, to the warning, I say you are already doing it. You're inspiring a generation of young women, not just in your talents, but in the way that you treat people. This is why you have such a great people group of people following you, supporting you, being protective of you. They know you're a treasure and that you are the future. So keep rocking, and I'm looking forward to doing the next song. I still want to do a The Warning Week, but I'm waiting for Rod, since he was the one who introduced me to the band. 
I've only known them for a, a month and already I'm spreading the word to everyone I know. So thank you for everyone for your views and thoughtful comments and keep rocking. Rick out. Peace.